Welcome ladies and gents, Mr. Visto here, and in this video I'm going to show you a fun build that I like to use on Fortnite. This build is all about the attack speed. With it you can get up to 65% attack speed, and as you can see from the clips it is a lot of fun just slapping rats with it. There'll be a link in the description to the Ronald Stock gift website with the build on. Now let's begin by looking at Fortnite's passive and career skill. I will put a description of each of these on the screen for you so you can see it as well. Valiant Charge. Marcus charges forward slamming into enemies and knocking them back. This is very useful as you can use it to stagger nearly everything in the game, including some lords. It's important to note that with Valiant Charge, you can use block to cancel the charge at any time. You can also switch weapon, fire your ranged weapon, use equipment and explosives while charging. If you want to block join Valiant Charge, you need to make sure you're blocking before you start the charge. The first passive is called Protective Presence. This is an aura that reduces damage taken by 15%. The next one is Tell's Fortitude. This grants an extra stamina shield. Finally, you have No Guts, No Glory. This reduces damage taken by 10%. That does it for the passives and the career skill, so now onto the build itself. Starting off with the equipment, and for some reason I've been loving the Bretonian Longsword lately, so that's our melee weapon of choice for this build. On the Bretonian Longsword, I run it with crit chance, block cost reduction, and swift slaying. On the ranged weapon, I love the handguns because they're so accurate. On the handgun, I run power versus Skaven, power versus infantry, and conservative shooter. Make sure you're hitting those headshots. On the necklace, I have plus 20% health, plus 30% block cost reduction, and bark skin. On the charm, I have plus 5% attack speed, plus 10% power versus Skaven, and proxy. On the trinket, I'm using plus 30% stamina recovery, plus 5% crit chance, and shrapnel. Now, moving on to the talents. For level 5, we have. Um, for level 5, I use Bloody Unstoppable, which gives 10 HP on cleave. For level 10, it's Crowd Clearer. Pushing an enemy increases attack speed by 15% for 3 seconds. On level 15, I use Enhanced Power. This increases total power by 7.5% and it is important to remember that this is calculated before the other buffs are applied. Level 20 is Comrades in Arms. Kruber gains 10% increased power and the closest ally to Kruber gains 50% damage reduction and 10% increased power. But keep in mind that the Protective Presence, which is the passive aura for Fortnite that gives 15% damage reduction, will no longer affect allies. On level 25, I use its hero time, which resets the cooldown of Valiant Charge when an ally is incapacitated. This can make for some really fun and run-clutching moments. Finally, the level 30 talent that I love is Bull of Osland. Each enemy hit with Valiant Charge grants 3% attack speed for 10 seconds. This can stack up to 10 times, giving 30% increased attack speed. If you then add on the 15% attack speed from Crowd Clearer, and the 20% attack speed from Swift Slaying, this means that you will reach an insane 65% increased attack speed. A couple of things I want to point out for this build with the handgun. With the breakpoints that I've got on it, it allows you to one shot body shot all specials. This can be very handy for if you're in a tight spot and you don't have time to aim for the head. Also, with the Bretonian Longsword, the first two heavy attacks will stagger pretty much all elites out of any attack that they do, apart from Chaos Warriors. And that does it for the Speedy Boy Fortnite build. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like to feed the algorithm. Check out the Discord to find more people to play with. The link will be in the description. Also check out Twitch where we stream rats every week. Currently, I don't have a stream schedule because of some IRL things that keep getting in the way. But if you're in the Discord, you'll get notified every time I go live anyway. But above all, keep slapping those rats.